Welcome back everyone, I am Miss Y and this is our weekly art challenge for our high school members. Um, this week is Cinco de Mayo! Woo! What we're going to do today is we're going to make piñatas. This is an unfinished one. If you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with piñatas, if not, um, they're the things that we hit with the, with the bat on people's birthdays, especially Latino American birthdays, specifically Mexican birthdays. Um, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what it looks like. If not, my Fortnite, my Fortnite people, the little donkey thing, that's a piñata, okay? The llama, that's a piñata. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make one out of, if you watched our video last week, the same little cereal boxy material, tape. Candy, you have some scissors, a hole puncher, if not a pen, so you can poke through, yarn, or any type of string so you can hang your piñata, and um, either crepe paper, so streamer, or uh, tissue paper, like, tissue paper. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. Once you source your material, since not, like I said, not everyone might have it. A uh, cereal box is good, anything that's um, like inside like present boxes works well. Just a kind of sturdy, but also flimsy cardboard because you're going to have to roll it and like play with it a little bit. So once you source your uh, cardboard, uh, you're going to trace your donkey. This is a template that I found online, so I'm pretty sure you guys can find it as well. But if not, uh, just Google it. But if not, I can I can insert it in the description later. So you guys can like print it and trace it. If not, I suggest uh, putting your paper up to your computer monitor and tracing it the way we used to do it when we didn't have printers. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, trace this twice because you need the front and the back. So this piece should fit too. And then you wanna make sure you get them as close as you can because you do wanna save more pieces of cardboard because you're gonna need to make strips for the edges. So I would say trace it here and you wanna have all this so you can make the width of your donkey. And you don't know what I mean, is we're doing this. So once you have the actual shape, you're gonna sculpt this additional or leftover cardboard around your donkey to make the, the dimension of your donkey so it's just like not flat. So let me show you how to do that. So say I fold, I do my donkeys here and then I cut all this off. I have, I don't know, that's like two inches. And you would cut that and use this whole thing to go all the way around your donkey. If you don't want to make it that wide, that's fine. Just measure it and make sure your line is straight and cut that off. I did, I think an inch. So how you would do that is, you would grab your tape and just make sure you have tape. Any tape works. Regardless, you're gonna have to reinforce it from the inside and the outside. So I have a little piece of cleaner tape. You're gonna get your cardboard. What you wanna do is you wanna leave this middle empty or just unlined because you wanna put your candy in there somehow. So I would start from the head or from like the bottom, like the book, and just leave a gap in between here. So what I usually do is maybe start somewhere where there's gonna be a curve so I can show you guys how to cut it there. So what you're gonna do is to make sure you're folding around all the contours, I would place it somewhere first. And then let's see if I can mark this for you. Say here, I would put my cardboard around there and wherever I need to fold, I would mark. And then make the fold right there. So I make sure it's really following the contours of my shape like that. So I would get a piece of tape. At first it's gonna be a little hard because it has nothing to hold on to, but just put it on there make a little hinge and there you go and just keep going around and taping it like so like that so pretty sure you guys get the gist that's what you're going to be doing all the way around once again stop here so you have a space to put your candy so i'm gonna quickly uh put this all together and i'll show you right now how it looks like when it's all taped up, okay all right this is the final product um See, I kind of reinforced some of the edges here that were kind of flimsy when I taped both sides together. It's okay if it's ugly, like she's not cute right now, but it's okay. Um, the whole point is to make it sturdy, so enough to like, stand and have some stability, like she's good. Um, from here, you would decorate it. 
I don't know. It's up to you guys if you want to like add a coat of something first to get rid of all your tape colors. It's like my tape is blue. Um, but like, so I suggest maybe getting tissue paper. I'm going to show you a really quick method. You can tear tissue paper or TP. <laughs> if you just have it. So. Um, and cover, and cover some pieces with tissue paper. I just did some white glue on my fingers. You kind of get some like basic coverage around your donkey if you want a base to cover the tape color. But if not, it's okay. And you can just go ahead and add your decoration out as we're gonna do. So I'm gonna, that's an extra step, but let me show you how we're gonna do it. And then from there, you get to decide whatever you guys wanna do. So the way we're gonna make the fringe or the decoration, actually you should keep this bottle. You can have white glue, that's fine, or glue stick. I just like white glue because it's a little, it allows you to kind of like play with the um, tissue paper a little better. So if you have tissue paper, let me just off a little piece. Get as many sheets as you want. Um, if you have a really long one, cut a piece and then fold it so it's easier to kind of like uh, mess with. So I'll just, I'll just show you. So to cut fringe from here to here, it can be a little tedious because you're going to be doing just, just this, cutting almost all the way to the top to create fringe. And that takes forever. So I suggest folding it a whole bunch of times. And you have your food. So, let's start up with the piece. And just wrap, start wrapping it around. I suggest starting from the bottom and then moving your way up. Like three from the bottom. Um, wrap the legs first. You better stop! You can get a whole strip once you get here and then wrap one whole thing all the way around. But for the legs, it's cuter if you just concentrate around the leg a few times and it just makes it easier to manage it you have smaller pieces and like i said i'm not going to show you how to do the whole thing because i think you'll understand the concept i'm just showing you how it looks and it's like the method of doing it around certain areas like the leg you should probably start the little legs first on the arm before you move on to the top like that so it's easier to manage and you can cut the fringe shorter if you'd like so just do that to the other side. I'm gonna show you how to do it here. And I'm gonna work with the crepe paper because it's a little darker. Uh, I don't have to worry about uh, covering the tape so much because the color is a little bit more uh, vibrant. So I'm gonna add glue. You don't need to add glue everywhere, just at the main part, the, the front, like the starting point and the ending point. But I'm gonna start at the bottom, tap it. And you can easily just move all the way around. And, and I, I'm gonna overlap it, so I have an extra cover. And you can see it's already sticky and it's covering a lot. Cause it's a small little donkey. You don't really need a lot of this. I'm gonna just stop until it stops. And it stops here, get more glue. And then I can work up to the next color. And that's why you wanna start at the bottom cause you're gonna overlap. And if you were to go the other way, it's gonna be hard to like glue under the fringe that you already created. Once again, I'm only gonna add glue to the beginning. Start it here. And wrap it a few times. So that's pretty much it. You can see we kind of got a lot done already. I would go here again and then do the face just like I did the feet in smaller sections. And I would do the face this way where I would add fringe here. And then the next one, oops, and the next one on top like this, and then around the head the same way. So I would go this long method all the way to here, and then from the head down, I do it in smaller sections like so. I go here, and then one on top, and one on top. Hopefully you get the gist. If not, there are other videos on YouTube which, which you can watch. Um, hopefully it'll be more helpful than me. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then from here, you fill it up with candy. So I have all these random little, I don't know, I'll fill it up with. To finish off the whole thing, obviously you want to fill, fill this thing up with candy as much as you can. And then you're gonna need another piece of paper to cover this hole. 
Make sure right here it's really sturdy. Like that's why I got multiple pieces because since there's no cardboard here, there's a, uh, it's like I said, it's not sturdy right there. Glue that on top or tape it and then cover it with fringe, however you wanna do it. And that, and then that would be the last step aside from um, putting string on it. So if you really do wanna play with it like a piñata, I suggest before covering it here, get a pole puncher or a pen. I don't have a pen because not all of you guys have pole punchers. And I'll just poke a little hole and just feed your string. And I'll just tie a little, a simple knot on top. There you go. You're still, you still should be able to cover it with tissue paper. It's not no biggie. Like I can still go here and go here. But you can easily, you can still have it like empty like that. I just want to do it so my cat doesn't fall out. But essentially your piñata, and um, when it's done, it should look like like this. So hopefully you'll know you did it right and it looks more like this rather than than this. But I hope you guys like it. Um, do some research on Cinco de Mayo. I'm just letting you know it's not Mexican Independence Day. It's not until September. So if you have any questions or want to share with me how your little piñata looks, make sure to email me at yalirae at bgclaharbor.org right here. And we hope to see you next time. Bye.